Well, hello, my name is Carlos Batlló, and this is a quick tip for AUTATSPLUS.com. We'll be learning how to create an electrocardiogram, AKG, uh, with using some techniques with shapes and mats. And it's quite basic tutorial, but it will allow us to create something that many people have tried many times. And uh, I just th think that many of them are not quite realistic enough because they use a particular system and this means the line, uh, the longer the line is, the more time it takes to complete. And actually the uh, electrocardiogram says move forward in time at a regular pace and it doesn't matter if you're dying or not, uh, just the line will go at the same speed. And actually let me show you this in the, when we have finished, yeah, so you can see how it uh, should move and how we're making it uh, move in this uh, AKG. So let me create a new comp. Uh, let's make this quite wide, three seconds long. Hit OK. And uh, let's start by creating a shape that will be our basic uh, uh, electrocardiogram shape that we you will know. And for, but first, let's go to see some uh, reference. Here I have a basic. Uh, I don't know if this is the the true one, the most correct one, but it looks quite good. And here I have some pictures of uh, screens from electrocardiograms. This one is for from stock site, and this uh, is from the shop. And this one looks quite old. Now, right now, I think they look more colorful than we are used to by movies, and they look quite cool actually. So let's make something like this, so with a little bit of color and a little bit of glow too. So let's go back to After Effects when we'll create, let's zoom in to create our first shape and hit the pen tool here and draw a line, flat line and remember to keep pressing shift for it to be fully horizontal and also to drag it to make some busier, so click, drag make some busier points and again let's make another point right here and drag and make sure you're hitting shift to keep it Horizontal. Now let's get rid of the stroke for now, like this, and let's add some points. So go there, click, and drag, hitting shift to make some bezier, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I don't know, many times. So just let's modify them the way we want. And remember, you can do whatever you want here, and make sure just to keep the first two in each side just in place to make the line just go back to flat before going up again because we're gonna link this together uh, in a second you'll see what I'm talking about so keep this in the first and second in place but you can move the third up um, this one up too we can move this down and we can add another point here and just Move it up so we get we can work on an almost almost realistic shape for our electrocardiogram. I remember hit shift right now to keep this horizontal, and we make a small bump here, and then a bigger the big bump here that proves that we are alive. Let's move this there. And something like this will do. Maybe these two go back. All right. And now let's make the whole thing just like this. I think this will do. Okay. Now let's give them some stroke. Just hit two here and make sure it's white. I select it right now. Hit OK. And we have our shape here. Uh, since it's a little bit thin, it's difficult to see properly when we zoom out. So I have to go back to four to half. But when we zoom in, it looks really awful. And remember this, because not everything you see is what is going to be at the end. So now that we have this, just click on the shape layer. And you can go in here, go to contents, shape. And you can delete the fill, because we don't want any. All right, now. Let's go there and let's add a modifier. So go to the shape layer, go to add and check repeater here. 
click it and we have three right now open let's open the repeater settings repeater transform and actually let's make more copies let's make like 10 copies for example and let's move the position from the repeater to the right like this and you can see right now just just they just align and it looks like a perfect line all right let's go out to half and actually let's make this uh, shape smaller so just scale it down perfect and move it to the left and as you can see we have 10 so almost lots of them 10 shapes uh, of the same shape we did at the, be at the beginning just repeating themselves making a cool uh, display of the line and the good thing is that we can modify the first one for example go to full we'll click here and we can change one point and they all will change exactly the way we want and remember you can do this uh, shorter and if we do do that just make sure to go back to the settings remember for the repeater uh, transform and let's move this oops not the scale the position move position and like that perfect so now that we have this let's uh, pre-compose no, actually not let's make the mat for it to appear in the way we want in a realistic way so just create a new composition exactly the same settings let's call this op for opacity mat hit ok and in here I want to see the transparency let's make a new black solid so make comp size make sure it's black hit ok ok and let's make some masks so the rectangle mask tool and let's make a big mask here something like this we'll tweak it later I hit F on link and let's further this just like that. Actually, let's want, let's make this subtract perfect. And now that we have it, let's tweak it the way we want. For example, moving this to the right. We want a long, long, long fading that almost covers the whole thing, but leaves pure black and pure transparency here. Something like this will do, it's perfect, I guess. And let's pre compose this black solid uh, layer, pre compose, and move all attributes. And let's call this black op or opacity. And let's apply an effect called uh, offset here. And let's set a keyframe at the beginning exactly as we are now let's go to the end and just move this to the right until it makes one revolution two revolutions I think that will be nice yeah whoops something like this excuse me for that something like this will do as you can see it's one revolution, two revolutions, and goes back to the first position. You can do as many as you want, of course, if you want your electrocardiogram to go faster or slower. Now, let's go back to comp1, and let's add the op mat here. And let's set the shape layer, click here, and go to track mat, and set it to alpha inverted. And as you can see, yeah. Perfect, let's go to half, so you can see it. the line is just appearing as the rest of the line just fades out. So as the line goes here, this starts to fade, and again, and again, and again, and this is fully loopable, so you can make it as long as you want, whoops, again, excuse me. And this just goes on and on, I like this effect. Now, now that we have this, let's add a little effect here. You see, at the end of the line, most uh, in movies, I guess, they have a little bit brighter point that leads the way. So let's uh, do this effect. I don't know if it's, if it's pretty realistic. I mean, here, uh, this doesn't seem to be any. But I'll show you how to make one. 
because it um, it looks cool, I guess. So let's duplicate the black op and op mat, and uh, let's call them um, blur mat and black be yeah, alpha blur. Now I will click the blur map and select here the black op, select here the black blur, hit alt and drag. And this will change the, the layer that was here for the one uh, that we selected by keeping all properties so this is still uh, loops. And everything looks the same now because we didn't change the content of black bl. But if we go inside black bl, uh, we're going to change this mask, we're going to set it to add we're gonna make uh, no feathering and actually let's just select just the end of here something like this and let's add a little bit of feathering now okay I think that will do and if we go back to blur mat you see the uh, offset is exactly the same as before as the other layer and I did this to keep the offsetting exactly at the same pace and speed and keyframes. But the shape is different. So let's go to comp1 and add this uh, blur mat to the top. And we're gonna apply an effect called pass blur to this blur mat. And toggle switches again and click here to make this an adjustment layer. As you can see here, adjustment layer. Cool. So, let's go to full rest here, you can see, and if we go now and make some blurriness here, you can see the tip, just as the tip, there's a little bit of blurriness that doesn't look that good here, but wait, because this is not it. So, now they have a little bit of blur, let's go back, and actually let's pre-compose this whole thing, a layer, pre-compose, and let's name this uh, line. Move all attributes, hit OK, and I have this line, and what we can do is apply a glow effect. Yeah, a glow effect here, oops, to this layer. And what this will do is create this glow, let's go, uh, yeah, full is OK. And let's tweak the settings first, I want the colors to be different so go from original colors to A and B colors and let's change color A to a very light blue something like this and color B to a little bit darker blue like that it doesn't show up right now but let's go move up the glow intensity like this and the threshold let's move it down so now we have some cool glow this is very movie stylish, but it looks quite good. And you can play with the setting of the glow. It's in full detail. You can see the glow fades too. And the glow just looks quite good. And as you can see at the tip, there's uh, this slight ball that leads the way. And you can go back to the line and play with the blurriness let's set it to 3 for now and I think it looks quite good leading the way perfect alright so we have the glow, let's uh, decrease the glow radius a little bit that's it and remember if you want more lines just uh, go back to line and you can uh, duplicate these two layers shape and the opacity map Duplicate them, move them, whoops. You can just move the shape layer, I guess. Move it down. And you can change the settings. I mean, if you want, these are your uh, AKG, this is your AKG, and this one is the one from the neighbor who's dying in the bed next to you. So, just double click here, pull man. So like all the all the keyframes, all the points here, delete, and you have a flat line right there. Pull man. And the flat line does exactly the same thing as it did. And if we go back here to COM1, you see there's also 
this uh, shiny dot at the end so we have a flat line just going as you leave life isn't fair I guess and both lines don't matter if you're alive or dead both go at the same speed because this is based on time and not of the length of line this is what's, uh, the, what I was explaining at the beginning so uh, I guess that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, you can apply this technique to many other things. I hope to see them. And my name is Carlos Vadio. Thanks for watching. See you next time.